Welcome to 18 Holes. I'm your host, PGA Golf Professional, Jimmy Hanlon. And I'm LPGA Tour member, Natalie Govis. Today, we are in Williamsburg, Virginia, home to the second oldest college in the United States. And we're at one of the coolest resorts you've ever been to, the Kingsmill Resort, post of the LPGA Kingsmill Championship. Natalie, I have never heard you talk more about a place before we got here. You must just absolutely love it. Well, you're going to know why, so let's go check out the course. Let's go. Opening hole at the Kings Mill Resort is one of the easiest holes on the golf course. So just make sure you keep it up the left side. Even though the hole looks wide, it's not. Hit it up the left side and go ahead and make a birdie to start the day. As you can see, the left side is plenty wide over here and the hole really opens up. So now, not a lot of trouble up there. Just make a good club and go ahead and make that birdie. Kicks right up the hill. <laughs> Can you tell I played here a few times? Hole two is a par three, and it's a very difficult par three. Mid to long iron on this hole, about 180 yards. Safe play on this hole is the left side of the green. Sometimes you even get a good kick, it'll help you out. I'll just knock it in. Stay right there, ball. Did it. Get up. All right, we're here on hole number three, and Natalie, you have such an unfair advantage on me on this golf course. You have your own family here, by the way, a second <laughs> family with Joe here helping you out. Then you've played, you've won hundreds of thousands of dollars on this golf course. It's one of your favorite places in the world, and you bring me here. You already beat me. You need more help. I do. You don't have. You don't have a chance. But that's okay <laughs> because I. What I love about today is I'm going to get to showcase one of my favorite places and one of the favorite stops on the LPGA Tour. And it was a 22 year PGA Tour event. So you know this place is really, really special. Can you but, at least be honest when you tell me about the holes though? So give me some, course. this much chance right here. That's of it. course, right, this is good. a great hole. This par five is a really big risk reward. There's as many eagles as there is doubles on this hole, but there's a speed spot. If you just take it kind of a draw over that bunker, it really gets down the hill and then wait till you see the second shot because it is a huge risk reward shot. But you're gonna love this hole. I think she's trying to make me take a really big chance here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's gotcha. hit it. Stay right there. That's where you said to hit it, huh? Yep. But you can just take it right over that bunker and it'll go, it just, this whole thing just kind of speeds right down. Right on the edge of it. Hurt a little. I'm a little scared that I didn't take your line. See how it opens up from this left side? Oh, for sure. This is better. I actually hit it bad enough to where I'm okay on the right side. Yeah, if you would hit that solid, you would be, uh, be in your pocket again. <laughs> you said eagle or double. If you lay up here, you're laying up with a wedge, and then you have an even tougher shot because when you get down there, you can barely see the green or the pin. But what I love about this is the risk reward is it's like an island green. There's no way you're going to have an easy up yeah, and down to the right. Race, and if yeah. you're left, that bunker is awful. Ever and made eagle on this hole in a tournament? Oh yeah. Have you? Oh yeah. We oh, have a yeah. thing on tour that if you make an eagle, a thousand dollars goes to the Wounded Warriors. Oh, nice. Every eagle. That's awesome. Like, do you see mine? Bad. bad I didn't bounce. hit it up the right center, and now, you know, that's your risk reward right there. Hey there. Give me that Natalie bounce to the left. I think it's good. Is it on? I don't know. Can't tell. Maybe a little short. Hit that little heavy. It's kind of like an island green if you don't hit a good enough shot. Natalie, I cannot believe how far down that is. It does not look like it from up there. Crazy. I can barely see the top of the pin. In tournament week, this rough is like double. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Thanks. About five, six feet. Good shot. Walk it a little. Turn left. Good putt. Good speed. Come on. That's that eagle or double. That's good. That's I'll give you that one. Nice. 
just when you cut these greens. They just, just don't break as just much. Just don't huh? break as much. I think I would listen to you after seeing your record here. <laughs> of course there's exceptions, but as a general rule, don't play a break. Nice cut. little birdie, huh? You told me how to play that hole. I can listen to you on that hole. You <laughs> I told me how to play you. that Where's hole. Where's the Champions Tour? How old are you? So I got a little bit of time left. More 18 holes to come after the break. Well, hello, golfers. You know, Digital Golf Pass gives you discounted green fees at hundreds of great courses near you. Redeemable on your smartphone, tablet, computer machine, you know, wherever. Save up to 50 smackers around, every round, all season long. Because when you pay less, you golf more. Hey, what is that? This is the Orange Rip Trainer. This is how I get ready to play golf. Would you like to try? I'd love to. It's simple to use, but most importantly, you got to feel it. It's a very simple tool that allows you to develop your own athletic golf swing and stretch out your golf muscles. It synchronizes my motion to make it athletic, and it also allows me to get perfect tempo and balance so I'll be consistent all day. The Orange Rip Trainer. you got to feel it. This segment of 18 Holes is brought to you by Redeem. Go to redeem.fit and check it out. Welcome back to 18 Holes. We are here at Kings Mill Resort. In Williamsburg, Virginia, a place rich in colonial history. Left is death, says Natalie Golbus on number four. That's how she described this tee ball to me. If you hit it down the left side, it looks like you can cut off more than you can. So keep it to the right, get it in the fairway because this green is difficult on this hole also. On the right side, give me a little bounce. Hole number five, par three, 175 yards. It plays one entire club downhill. So make sure your club selection is really good here because as you can see, there's no room to miss if you miss the green. So pick your target, the green holds, but really be careful with your number. Stay there. All right, I've driven the ball into the fairway on this hole, but that's half the battle. The green is the difficult part of this golf hole. There's different levels where they can put the pin. And you have to get your ball on the right level or it's a very difficult two putt. The front nine is where this golf course is gettable. So let's make a bird. Hey, right there, ball. That should work. Hole number seven, par five. It's a three shot hole unless you can get a really big drive and get it down the hill, then you can go for this in two, but just hit it up the center. One of my favorite things about this hole is that just about a mile that way is the InBev Brewery, home of America's great Budweiser and all their brands underneath. Never got better advice at a golf course than you are today, and number eight is one of those places you really need it. If you hit driver, Get it down over the hill, you're going to have a crazy lie. The smart play, Natalie says, which all the tour players do, is take a club that leaves you at the top of the hill, hit it about 200 off the tee. You won't have to worry about that water on the left. And it'll give you a nice flat lie. Get out there right at the top of that hill. Hole number nine, it's a short hole. Make sure you get your drive up that right center and then you have a short iron in, but be careful with those back right pins because they can leave you with a really tough up and down. You missed the green. Good shot. Hole number 10 is a really long par four. You want to take driver and hit it as far as you can because the second shot is all carry. You're not going to be able to run it into this green, so we want to get as short of iron into this hole as possible. Natalie says that this is one of the hardest holes on the golf course. Stay there. Hole number 11 is a short par four, but the defense of this hole is really that green behind us. What's interesting about the green is it's a tabletop. So if you go a little bit long to a back pin, it goes over. If you're a little bit short, it comes back into that front bunker. Right or left, again, it slopes away. So regardless of where the pin is, the best advice I can give you is hit it right in the center, and that'll give you a good shot at a birdie. Any questions? 
Hole number 12 is a long par four. First things first, you have to get your tee ball down the right side, away from those trees on the left, or you will be blocked out. But now is the second shot. Very difficult. If you miss the green a little right or a little long, you're going to have a 20-yard chip up the hill. Hit it into the center of the green on number 12. Get out of here with your puck. Get down a little bit. Oh, get down a lot. Hole number 13, this has been a really lucky hole for me. I got a hole in one here playing in the LPGA event when we were hosted here. I hit a nine iron for right from this distance, 158 yards, and it was one of the coolest moments in my professional career. Lucky hole for me. Hole number 14 is a par four, and it's long and uphill off the tee. Keep the ball down the right side of the fairway. Trouble comes if you miss this green on 14. It's a very tricky up and down. Hole number 15 is a par five. The best tee shot angle is right over the second bunker. It'll give you a second shot where you can go for this green in two. But if you miss your drive a little bit to the left, you're gonna have to play as a three shot hole, but you can still make birdie. 16, 17, and 18 are as good a finish as you will see on any golf course in the world. 16 is a par four, dog leg right. Hit the ball to the top of the hill right here, and this is a beautiful approach shot into this green. I'm sure the wind can blow off this water pretty crazy. This is a great hole. It is a great hole, and it's a really important hole, especially when you're coming down the last few holes of a championship. But if you can picture it, all galleries on the left and on the right, the best galleries and boats and cheering and yelling, and this is just the party hole. You ever made birdie here on Sunday? I have. How about not doing it on me? Let's go. Now I got extra motivation. <laughs> that was solid. Stay right there. Nice. You take Safe. that on a Sunday this year, huh? Oh, yes. I'd take it anywhere on the green. Get up That's a little. Sweet. Get up a little. I'm going to guess that that's a You're long way putt, away, actually. huh? Yep. About it. All right, Natalie, we were talking a little bit. You have a tip for long putts you've never given to anybody in the world but me, by the way. I'm the only person who knows as of right now. We got to give it to the fans. Right it is. Now. In my 17th season, I got to start giving back, you back give to the back. game some of the tips. So when I practice, I always practice 30, 40, 50 and I walk it off. So when I'm reading a putt, I always come back here and I kind of play it off like I'm not doing it, but I always give myself about that range, 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet. And when I practice, it just gives me that like instant feedback of about what it is. So, so if just, I was playing, I would start walking right now. And you're counting. So you're thinking, people are thinking you're just being cool. Sometimes I play it off. Play Sometimes it off. if someone's watching me, like I play it off. And, yeah. So this is 15 feet okay. or 15 yards, 45 feet. So now when I'm practicing, I usually practice at this 30, 40, 50, 60 yard. It was a drill that Phil showed me early, early in my career. But right. now I know, okay, 45 feet is about what I practice on every single week. It's uphill, 45, probably playing about 50. And now I just know, Gives like, I, I know exactly how to putt a 50 because that's just like when I'm hitting wedge shots, I break it down into putting. So for you right now, it's after you walk footer. that up off, you've practiced enough to know what a 50 footer is at least a feel from it right there. And a lot of times, Seriously? I put them with my eyes closed. Are you serious? That's I mean, how it's done. Can you be serious right there? Huh? <laughs> I mean, can you stop it right now? <laughs> so that is definitely, by far, the best Forever Lawn Golf Greens tip of the week ever right there. Now, if I don't make this, I look like a joke. But the key is really just working on it when you're practicing. I love it. Best tip you've ever given me. Mm -hmm. See if it worked for me like it did Natalie. Go, ball! You know what that comes from right there? Lack of practice. <laughs> but it is funny because I do play it off, especially if I know that there's like cameras tell. on. Yeah. Like I'll like kind of start over here and I'll be like looking at it and then I'll walk like 10 and then I'll walk up a little bit. And I don't know, it's not that I just, it just looks weird if I would be like pacing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna make them all now? No. Oh, that broke a little bit. Broke a lot. Remember what I said about five footers here. You don't have to. You don't play too much break. Well, I know you love 17, oh. but championships get won and lost here on 18. I can't wait to show you this hole. More 18 holes after the break.
Oh, way to go. Thanks a lot. Oh, perfect. You gotta practice to make putts like that. Well, I don't have a putting green at my house to practice every day. You gotta get a golf green by Forever Lawn and you could. Make sure to visit foreverlawn.com slash golf. To learn more about the premier artificial putting greens on the market today. Foreverlawn.com slash golf. Welcome back to 18 Holes. We are in beautiful Williamsburg, Virginia. We are at Kings Mill Resort, and this place has hosted professional golf tournaments for over 30 years, and now is currently the host of the Kings Mill Championship on the LPGA Tour. And tournaments get won and lost on this hole right here, number 18, and probably this tee shot. As you can see behind us, even though it looks like you can cut off more than you want to, you don't. You just go right over that first little bunker, and it'll give you about a long mid iron into that very difficult green. You know, you've won a few bucks here at Kings Mill, you know, but uh, you're gonna have to beat me on 18 to win a few more. Great, you want a double or nothing what I've made here? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> So you just want to take this just right over that little bunker. On the and right. even for you, and I know you hit it much further than I do, same line, because it all kicks down right to left. Turn a little. Is that good? Yeah, it's fine. It'll definitely give me a longer shot in, Yep. but the play is just, for you and your line, just over that right left over bunker, that bunker a little bit left. All right, got it. This is such a great hole to finish a it golf is, huh? Around. Have you ever saw a play, have you ever seen a player on the LPGA tour hit it in the water? Just snipe it. Oh I yeah. Mean, for, I mean like in the mix at the oh, end. Oh yeah, of course. Well, especially if you try to take too much off because you can't carry that second bunker and it comes back in. But no. a quick duck hook, absolutely. Yeah. Now as far as Michelle Wee hits it, what where would her line be? The left bunker? Yeah, left bunker. That's good. It'll give you a little longer shot, but there's plenty of fairway safety. You took it on your line there. Oh yeah, that's good. Huh? But see, it's fine over there. Yep. All tied up, chance to win going into 18. You're going to try Kingsville to create the same pressure. Yep, I want to see what you do under the pressure. Oh, turn in there a little. Hit it thin, thin. safely. That might work though. Feedback to that hole. Now tell me you wouldn't take that on oh, Sunday I mean, right every there. Every 20 out of 20. <laughs> and I wouldn't even like be ashamed of it. No, right? <laughs> good a little swing. right of it, huh? Gosh, that's a good swing. Oh, a little short. Not enough. I didn't believe the yardage. You want to walk up and knock in that 50 footer, too? <laughs> so, how cool was it to come down 18 and see your name on the leaderboard right there with the Oh, chance? it's the best. It's what you play for. It's what you practice for on the days when it's too cold and you don't want to go outside. Yeah. It's um, what wakes you up and gets you excited about the morning is coming down here and seeing the fans on the right side and your name at the top and knowing you have a shot. But one of the coolest moments I actually had here was I had finished second and I was a couple groups ahead and I waited for my best friend, Christy Kerr, yeah. to come up and it was sponsored by Michelob Ultra. So I had two beers in my hands and she ended up making the winning putt and I ran out and sprayed her with beers. And then she's like, hey, give me a sip. So she took the beer from me and she's older than me, so she's smarter than I am and <laughs> took a sip and just sprayed me right back. And it was just such a cool moment. And it's a photo we both have in our offices framed at home. And it just, I have so many amazing memories from this championship. This has really been an incredible event for the LPGA. And I think what makes it is Kings Mill Resort. It's a resort, it's everything about this place. You've had more stories today than you've ever had about a place we've been. <laughs> I love it here. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna walk this putt off because it worked. Yep, you should. <laughs> But it only works if you practice it so you know the numbers going in. Talk to me. Oh, uh, man. That's good. You know, honestly, not to like give you more credit than I already do, I would have left that short if I didn't walk Really? Out. If you didn't know how far it was? For sure I would have left that short. I thought I felt like I killed it. Do it again. Oh. Oh, I can go in. <laughs> I turned away. I early called you. What a good putt. What a great, what do you think of the course? Just it's a great awesome, day. Right? Just an awesome day. Great place. And there's so much more than just the golf course to see and do here. So let's go to the 19th hole and see a little bit more. Off to the 19th hole after the break. Oh, way to go. Thanks a lot. Oh, perfect. 
You gotta practice to make putts like that. Well, I don't have a putting green at my house to practice every day. You gotta get a golf green by Forever Lawn and you could. Make sure to visit foreverlawn.com slash golf. To learn more about the premier artificial putting greens on the market today. Foreverlawn.com slash golf. When it comes to crafting the perfect picture, having the right camera is only the first step. And that's why at Dodd Camera, we're more than a camera store. For 125 years, we've served the community with beautiful custom-sized printing, VHS and film transfer, passport photos, camera repairs, buying and selling used equipment, custom framing, and more. So don't just take great photos. Bring them to life at Dodd Camera. 1,200 men landed at this farm at Cambridge and March to Lexington. May God save Virginia! Welcome to the 19th hole, presented by Miller Lite. And we sit here on the beautiful patio here at Kings Mill. And Natalie, pretty cool. We ran into a couple of our sponsors here at Kings Mill, Damon and Jesse, and you got to spend some time with them. Okay, tell me, what is Digital Golf Pass? In its simplest form, it's a membership for the everyday golfer. Our program provides them uh, deal access to the golf courses that participate in our program. Um, throughout the day, any time of the day, very simple by clicking buttons instead of using a traditional pass where they might check a box or punch a hole in a card. It's important to note we're not an online booking engine. So, you know, booking engines are electronic t-sheets. You don't have to call the golf course, you just go online. And many third parties might offer a discount, but as we were talking about before, it's, it's a single point time in the morning or maybe the afternoon. The beauty of our program is the courses give us promotional offers with wide open play for the day and weekend access as well. They're not as scared to give us negotiated deals for our members because they're not shown on their engine or on another uh, third-party engine. Because when you pay less, you golf more. My parents want to book a tee time. Are they going to be able to figure this out? Oh, yeah. It, the great thing is if you're 25 or if you're 85, we've got both using the system. In fact, right now, if you go to digitalgolfpass.com, there is even a free trial. You can use it once for no charge. Great. Check it out. Sounds awesome. All right, Natalie, I don't even know where we start here at Kings Mill. There's so many different places. Let's go uh, golf course. Such a good golf course. They've done some changes over the years, but the way that it's set up right now, it's just set up for championship golf. You know, and they talked about Pete Dye, and they came in and redid some stuff here to make it a little more playable for the average person. We talked about the golf course and how it's still very challenging for good players, but it's also friendlier yes. for the average player. I mean, you can get out there and you don't have to make big carries on every hole and there's a lot of room in the fairways and I kind of hit it all over the place today and I didn't post any massive numbers. It was kind of, kind of a nice day. It's in such good shape. Yeah. And they just, they do such a great job at putting bunkers in places where they do come into play if you hit a bad shot, but good shots are rewarded here. And a lot of the holes, if you've played here before, as you saw today, course management is a big part of playing well on this golf course. But anytime you can play a golf courses in conditions like this, with greens that roll this good, you know you're gonna have a good day out there. Kingsville Resort is a place where you do corporate outings. It's a place where you do family events. I mean, it's got bush gardens. This was always an event where we came in early and we stayed late. All my family and friends wanted to come to this event because it was not only just this resort, which is amazing, and the golf course, but it's also all the other stuff to do. Colonial Williamsburg is yeah. so cool. You know that. I mean, just being down there, it just feel like you went into a, a time capsule. And then to go over to Busch Gardens and ride all the coasters, and to have that, I mean, that's really the ultimate family vacation or the ultimate guys trip, girls trip, golf trip. Yeah. But you, when you get away from here, you can really turn off from the world. There's no doubt about it. Well, good luck in the LPGA event Thank this you. year. You know, you spent enough time with me, but I'm gonna actually travel down and watch you down here. Just spend a little time, more time. You here, wanna go huh? back to Busch Gardens. Yeah, absolutely, for <laughs> sure, absolutely. Well, thank you for uh, spending some time with us here at Kingsville, and also thank you for watching us on 18 Hole. Well, hello, golfers. You know, Digital Golf Pass gives you discounted green fees at hundreds of great courses near you. Redeemable on your smartphone, tablet, computer machine, you know, wherever. Save up to 50 smackers around, every round, all season long. Because when you pay less, you golf more. Oh. Hey, 
Hey, what is that? This is the Orange Rip Trainer. This is how I get ready to play golf. Would you like to try? I'd love to. It's simple to use, but most importantly, you gotta feel it. It's a very simple tool that allows you to develop your own athletic golf swing and stretch out your golf muscles. It synchronizes my motion to make it athletic, and it also allows me to get perfect tempo and balance so I'll be consistent all day. The Orange Rip Trainer, you gotta feel it.